Guys, if you stream on Kick today, I'm going to very quickly show you how to set up your chatbot, widgets, alerts, etc. using this one website called Bottrix. It's free of charge to use the basics. So let's get straight into it. So the first thing you do is head over to bottrix.live, B-O-T-R-I-X dot live. Link will be down below and sign in with one of the following. So you'll notice it doesn't have login with Kick yet. That's not a thing at the time of recording this video, So, but it doesn't matter. So just pick one and log in with that. I'm going to actually log in with Twitch. Uh, <laughs> just for the irony. Once you're logged in, it will try and sell you the premium, which at this point I don't recommend getting because obviously Kick hasn't got like a public API and things yet. But in the future, maybe it's worth it. We'll go to that at another time. Close that one off. Now you'll notice that you will have your Twitch linked just here. Mine says Mr. Callum X. Don't stream on there anymore. Don't recommend following it. Uh, then down here, you'll see Kick. Now, you can use Bottrix, if you like, to do your alerts and things on every platform you stream on. But if you don't want to and you're like me and you just want to use it for Kick for the time being, make sure that you link your Kick account by finding the Kick logo over here and linking that one up. Then once you're in, you will be able to change your settings. So you click on it and now you'll notice that up here on the top left, it doesn't say Twitch anymore. It now says Kick. So at this point, you follow the instructions, which is going to ask you to mod bot tricks in your own channel, which if you don't know how to do, you go into your chat, type slash mod space, and then whoever you want to make a mod, in this case, bot tricks. Uh, then you're going to need to go to the bot tricks channel and paste a code. It will give you the code on this website. Obviously, I've already done it, so it's not going to show me it just now, but you will do that. That will make it work. Now you have access to all these lovely things down the left. As you can see, you've got alerts. It's very similar to Streamlabs, Stream Elements making the alerts. You can literally, you've got subscription. So when someone subscribes, you tick the box to make it active. Style, you can pick your style. There's lots of different styles. And then the duration of the alert, you can upload a sound effect. You can also change the volume which I always have to make them lower because for some reason my sound effects are always stupid loud. And then you can change the text color, bottom text color, background color, all these lovely things. Uh, and you can do this for every single alert possible. So there you go. So you've got all the alerts. Then widgets wise, these are overlays that you'll add into OBS. So if we, for example, let's go viewers counter. You can see we've got the viewers counter here. If I wanted to put this onto my stream, I would copy the link at the top, the widget URL. And then in OBS, you go to create a browser source, you copy, you paste the widget. As you can see at the top here, it says, don't forget to mod bot tricks by typing slash mod space bot tricks in your chat. Uh, but we've already gone through that. Now you can add moderation. So you can change uh, if you don't want people to be able to spam capitals, links, emotes, symbols, etc. You can even choose which offensive words or non-offensive words that you want to ban, like dab or something. I don't know. That's entirely up to you. Um, the bot tricks bot name you cannot change yet, but that's something that's coming in the future. And then you have your commands. So as you can see, I've got charity, TikTok, Ko-Fi. They all work the same as in Streamlabs or Stream Elements, anyone like that. Timers are, again, uh, very similar to Stream Elements, Stream Labs. You literally, they will go off every, this one, for example, is every 40 minutes. Uh, you can choose the interval as well as how many is the minimum lines. So for example, you might not want something to be spammed in your chat constantly because it looks terrible. So you can have it so that it's every 40 minutes as long as 15 lines, or you can change this so we could be like, as long as, I don't know, 20 lines of chat have been have been spoken then it's okay, it will post it. Otherwise, it won't. It will wait until 20 lines. So it's going to do the minimum of, of those two. Hopefully, this video was useful. If it was, please consider go follow me on Kick. Come hang out. And if you have any questions about how it all works, I'm quite happy to go through it on stream. So come in, drop in, ask the questions. I can also show you how to pad it in OBS and, and things like that. Uh, if you want more videos just like it, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Uh, go subscribe to the channel right now. And yeah, happy streaming, guys. I'll speak to you soon.